they went into great detail about shit. Like she would come over and smoke cigarettes and leave them all over our yard for my kids to pick up. And they, and my kids don't know what that is. Like they don't know. And no shade. Like you're going to leave. No shade. No, no shade. shade. But the entire thing if is shade. If you want to do it, then you can do it. Mm. <sighs> yeah. It's insane that her kids don't even know what a cigarette is. Yeah. She should yeah. tell them. You yeah. know what clickbait is? Yeah. They don't know what yeah. a cigarette is. You should tell your kids these things so they know is. to avoid it. They know what this is. They know all of this, but you don't want to tell them what a cigarette is. Yeah. And then you for know, her kids to um, pick up, like like they were cleaning them up after you or something like that. But you just went off no. about how her kids are uh, sloppy and kids are messy. But yeah. yeah. Obviously, Jess M and Chris weren't doing their job as parents to make sure the house yeah. is clean. So. 90% of the time, it would be, you know, when you drink, you just smoke a little bit more. You smoke extra. Mm -hmm. So I would get, I would lose, you know, my memory and not lose my memory. Oh my God, that's not as bad. But, you know, you're drunk and you just don't think and you're just, you know, you don't even whatever. Care, yeah. so f guilty of that. Like, mm -hmm. that's like majority of what was the issue but these parties you know we'd all be getting drunk and there's alcohol bottles and trash from the party for days out in the backyard for days and like if i told you i can't even like express this enough there would be there was probably party stuff left for like a month like damn alcohol bottles like everything that's how all the parties ended everybody knew that backyard is going to be trash the house is going to be trash guess who was cleaning 90 percent of the birthday parties when they were happening I'm guessing it was even, you yeah <laughs> even her family would be like oh janelle's in the kitchen again oh janelle look at you working hard everyone saw it i worked so hard for her just to make sure Everything was perfect for her videos and everything. That's what I did. That was my role in life. For that I bet she time. did not appreciate it either. I don't feel she appreciated it. by any means. Yeah. Right. I don't feel I don't feel like she appreciated it at all. No. No. I don't. I hate when people uh, expect things of others like that. It's a gross. Yeah. It's a gross mentality. Yeah, like I couldn't. I couldn't imagine, you know, her, you know, financially doing what she did for me and my daughter and me not do anything in return, you know. Right, right. That's just not the way it happened. I would come after 12 hours of working on my feet and help her clean her house no matter what. Like, I would do it. I did it at all of her houses. Like, it's, I have friends friends that would help me and they're like dude this place is disgusting what the f and i'm like hey, thanks for coming can you help me clean you know and <laughs> whew, she's not perfect <laughs> noted we got that <laughs> but like they come over to our house and leave it everywhere and so chris actually like kind of got into a fight with her about like bro chris this isn't cool stood like, up for one time and just, like come on leave this you can't so, just... i don't know <laughs> yeah crystal follows her honestly i still followed her until she blocked me so i don't even i went through I... and blocked everybody long oh, ago you, so you did you did block her yeah long before the drama long before everything because all, right. all that would happen is her stuff would just come up and it's her yeah you didn't want to be friends. reminded and yeah, yeah yeah all this stuff so i took her off of everything eventually i i finally took all of her like um her friends that i had you know made over time i took anyone associated with her off of my shit because she i saw her being two-faced to people there was um one girl specifically i met up with her a couple of times you know we talked about you know what was going on and all this stuff and you know she she even said you know jessica forgot about me she doesn't even hit me up anymore all this blah 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 blah, blah. and then this girl shows up at a party literally like a few months later and i'm like you literally just sat and told me that you feel that she does not give a shit about you but because mm -hmm. she's inviting you 
to a party because she needed people around her at that time. This is the first party, I think, after all this drama happened. And she's inviting everyone to make sure they're on her side, right? You know, she's got to get as many people. And so these people fell for it. There was a few people that actually fell for it, not realizing that she doesn't like them behind the scenes. And that's why they haven't been invited to anything for so long. Mm. She just needed them because all of this happened. And she needed to make sure no one was on my side. That's what happened. (sighs) I blocked her. You're right. I did. Yeah. I blocked everything. Hey. I stopped watching. I didn't get, I was, I couldn't watch it anymore. I couldn't do it. Hey man, you're better off. I, I guess I automatically stopped following her when she blocked me. What happened? Correct. See, that's what I'm saying. I was like, what's happening? What's happening? That's what I was like, I don't even want to bring attention to it. If you know, you know, if you don't, you don't need to know. Why is she even on the live? <laughs> it's just like people who yeah. ask, like the, I get so many questions and I hope that answered your guys' questions. Cause there's, yeah. And again, is there more? like, is there more? Jumping back to, never mind, I'm not gonna do that. I wish she would have just, if she would have never said anything to begin with, people wouldn't even know, and then I wouldn't feel the need to like defend myself. I feel like it's not, yeah. No, no. She, she didn't even need to defend herself. It was nothing. To be honest, she brought way more attention to it by the doing this she live. Brought all the attention. Yeah, yeah, like all of it majority of like the views came from her bringing attention to it. Had she not spoken, it would have never became this because I never had intent to do anything other than talk about what I went through. It wasn't in the title or thumbnail or anything. And it was like a long ass live or whatever. So Mm -hmm. you would really have to sit there and watch it to find it. And she she found it, I guess. I wish we could have just left it at COVID brought us away from each other which was partially true and not have to get into the nitty-gritty details of it but in reality it was a lot more and it really stemmed from my daughter's relationship with her daughter and the friends that she was around and i was not okay with my daughter being around that and lilia was not okay with it either stupid stupid just stupid i actually found out later on that um She's actually disliked my child for a long time, and I never knew. And she just or um, something. Jessica has not oh. liked my child because of you know how my child is. Um, but Jessica used to actually tell me that my daughter was going to get pregnant as a teen. She would say, "Alina's going to get pregnant young. She's going to get pregnant first, like this, that, and the other." She told me this multiple times, and I'm just okay. Like, who the fuck is she to judge? Yeah, she's told me this. Your Alina's gonna get pregnant. You gotta watch out for her. You better watch out for her. Like all this stuff. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, who says that about like your friend? And I never thought much of it. And then I found out that she actually has been talking about my kid. And I'm like, fuck, dude. Like, that's rough. That's rough to hear when, you know. Man, you just thought it was all fine for so long, and then come to hear that it's been a while that she's been feeling all of these feelings, and she never told me any of it. One of uh, my friends talks smack about my kid, and we throw in hands, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was, I just allowed it. I honestly just allowed you get to that point sometimes, you know, you were just you enable yeah. behaviors and yeah. Because- there for too long and you also i was phased i was was, yeah you were asleep you know (laughs) i was no absolutely i was and you know i can admit it i can admit that i was living in her shadow it's hard to get out of that sometimes yeah yeah that's that's just the life i lived is whatever just whatever jessica wants to do at any given moment that's what we do and i don't get to decide anything that we do i never get to you know say hey can you know i'll like try to invite her to dinner but chris was always the third bill following us everywhere trust issues like let me hang out with my friend he was always everywhere like he never just went away like if there was friends and girls and drinking like he was always there but if no one's around then he's on his video games and i'm like let us girls have like our own time He's you probably know, afraid like, uh, Jess will leave him. Every time. Him. Yeah, every time. That was an issue for me that I brought up. I was just like, why does he follow us literally everywhere? Like, why can't he just, like, go away? Um, there was so the Halloween. Who the hell would watch her, all the kids? 
To do what? Like if he, if he would just follow you guys around, like who would watch all the kids if you guys went out? Like during school and stuff, you know, oh, Addie okay. always went, the little ones always went. Yeah, but it was just annoying to me because I, you know, was not dating or anything. And like, I just like want to talk to my girlfriend. So that's how us and Chris became so close is because... I'm trying to confide in my friend when really I'm confiding in my friend and her husband. And I just yeah. like, yeah. you know, not what do you do now? You know, he's not yeah. going the fuck away. Like he'll never go away. He just, he's, you know, a leecher and just like, yeah. you know, make sure, you know, whatever. It's fucking creepy, dude. Yeah, it's, it's a little creepy. creepy. She said that you guys, <laughs> she said, did she really say Talia was the reason our friendship ended? Because she's... <laughs> That's the biggest <laughs> thing I've ever heard. She, d she didn't like Rosalind. And so when I started hanging out with Rosalind, and not that she didn't like her, she just, I think she felt threatened by her because I would hang out with Rosalind because right. Rosalind actually, like, was a mom. Was a mom. And enjoyed her <laughs> children. But, like, you're a mom, too. Oh, man. You know? <laughs> I've had my spiels about Rosalind, and there's mm -hmm. no, there's no threat at all there, you know? There's just yeah. Not yeah you were just like you said you felt pushed out by her yeah yeah so, yeah, yeah, yeah but that's a big she difference. wasn't a threat yeah. i just didn't like being around rosalind and hannah and i would tell you know what that, you can like who you like too by the way yeah i was i i was telling her i'm like why do they why are they always there you know what i mean she wouldn't in, she invited me camping one time and it was like kind of a far drive and I get there to go camping and hannah and rosalind and everyone is there and i was literally like if you told me that they were here, I wouldn't have came like straight mm -hmm. up. Like, because that's when I was learning to take myself out of that little group because I couldn't no, be around yeah. them anymore. Yeah. But then I was only being invited to special events. And then, you know, Rosalind and Hannah would be at the special events. And there was one birthday party where they were talking about me to my best friend and trying to make me feel uncomfortable and all that stuff and i'm just like what the f am i doing like why do i why am i even engaging in this you know mm -hmm. like why yeah. am i putting myself around these people that have no good intentions for anything you know yeah, exactly. they they are they are writing your coattail not me i was the friend and you let these people come in and essentially you know no they weren't friends they were clout chasers that's what they are yep that's what i'm saying that's what a lot of these vlogger friends do they stick around yeah. and they uh, they're at the you know they're they're like on call for vloggers yep. just do whatever yep. the hell they want when they right. want just to get a little taste of that clout and money i brought rosalind on one family trip with me and i because i didn't bring janelle and alina and didn't pay for them to go on this one trip she like that's when she lost it. She texted me, wow, have fun, when she saw that I went on a trip with Rosalind. And I said, thank you so much. Like, we're going to have a lot of fun. Like, not. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> really, like, was in that. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah, we're going to. Yeah, no, that's not just. That's not just. Uh, and um, yeah, no. you said earlier, it was just, it's not about you not being able to go on the trip or getting a free right. trip or anything like that. It was just right. you being pushed out by somebody else when you thought you were friends with Jess. Right. You just have to be right. like you're being phased out. You know, that's just what it is. It's not yes. about money. It's not about trips. It's about no. friendship. Being mean. And she was like, yeah, with your new best friend. Like, it was, okay. there was some, I, I'm telling you guys, it, it got pretty nasty. And I'm just it like, people just assume that it was. If the same thing happened to Jess, the way she did you dirty, but it happened to her. Yeah. I would like to see her keep the same, uh, the same energy she has now. Yeah. Struggling it off. Right. Talia, right. Talia moved here. And Talia is way she, Talia is way too nice. I, it actually makes me. I did want to address that because Talia's people try nice. to pull, pull Talia into this, and it's like she is like the coolest being on this the planet. She's not the coolest. Ms. Human. What? She's huh? literally a carbon copy of Jess. Why? Yeah. No. Oh my God, dude, that girl is just. It's actually embarrassing. It's so funny. I, uh, they think yeah, it's yeah, cute. Probably. They think it's really cute, and I'm like, you look stupid doing the same titles and the same like have some like originality like right no. like uh -uh. have your own thing yeah. but no well again that's no. why her views are so low to her sub count yeah way yeah. off because yeah. she relies on the just stands she doesn't have uh, like actual community she doesn't have a base 
right. Yeah. Correct. Yeah, she had just yep. space. And people wanted to assume it was her and it had nothing to do with her at all. I'm digging myself deeper. I know. I know. I'm just going to keep doing it. <laughs> She's acting like the ghost. Let me get comfy. You can have one more best, more than one. Exactly. You can have more than one friend. And when people try to act like they can't, you can't be friends with more than one person. It's just like, are we 12? I have a lot of friends. The issue yeah. is, is your friends are not good people. And I'm telling you, they're not good people. Right. And then there's also like, you can have multiple friends. You can have multiple best friends. That's yeah. fine. Yes. But like, you don't go, oh, we can all be friends, guys. And then try to like phase one of them out. Right. You know? Correct. Yeah. That's not how this works, Definitely. man. She's stopped giving me any one on one attention. And mm -hmm. by, like, I would tell her, like, you know, it's, I just don't always want to be around kids, her kids, when I was going through stuff. So, like, if you can ever be away from your kids for an hour for us to talk or, you know, whatever, you know, just a dinner, a lunch, like, just tell me when I'll be there. That's mm -hmm. all I'm asking for, because when I'm going through all of this, all these kids is the last thing I want to be around. I just want to, like, have Relax a little bit and of chill focus. And have, I don't like, adult think time that's and... too much to ask for. And, you know, kids drive you up the wall, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, my son, I have one son. You know, I mean, I obviously said too, but like my one son, he is uh, insane. Like he is a, yeah. a like a monster. He destroys everything right. in his path. That was you know my daughter. I mean? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. He's crazy. Yeah, you know, sometimes you know, you just need to not. That's all. <laughs>